With heat coming into the forecast and no rain on the horizon, it is time to start thinking about irrigation for the summer here in 2024. In today's video, I'm going to briefly walk you through as I show you guys how to test the output of your irrigation system to get it ready for the summer. The output testing continues. So my schedule is pretty constrained and because of that, I kind of have to do it when I can do it. I'm actually in the middle of running my mow route right now and as you can see I got the whole back zone on so simply all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna plant it right here in the middle oh, oh, it actually feels kind of good but yeah sometimes you got to do what you got to do take some time out of the work day whatever you're doing you got to call and just stick these babies right in the middle of the zone see how long it takes to fill it to the half inch mark and keep her moving on to the next zone now one tip I will give you guys right out the gate that you can do because mind you you can have multiple zones set to come on one after another is definitely get a couple of these they're like a dollar 79 and what's cool about it is you could literally if you know where your spots are you could take these and put them in the center of each zone and just have them ready to go while you're going about your merry way so there you go oh by the way I know these beds look terrible I do have a video coming uh, we're gonna be talking about bed management but that's for another time but yeah Anyway, look at that green color. Look at how good that looks. That's the 2600 app we did two weeks ago, kicking in nice, so yeah. There we go, my friends. Test that irrigation, make sure it's working properly. You're gonna need to have it once we get really hot and dry here in the next couple weeks. And this is kind of smart if you have an odd shaped area with a zone in it. So for instance, my backyard, as you know, because of the pool, I have like a C shape, it wraps around. Um, what I did, I got two center spots for this irrigation system and possibly three, but since I only have two, here's what I did. I put one measuring cup right here between this head, that head, and that head, and I also put one right there, which is in between almost all of the heads except for these two. So that way I can make sure everything is being distributed equally, otherwise that's gonna to lead to problems later on. So yeah, it's a good idea to have multiple of them too because sometimes you might need more than one for one zone. Yeah, hey, by the way, while we're here, check this out. So it just goes to show, um, we'll talk about this in an upcoming video, but see how this area right here is already much greener? I've only been running these sprinklers for like 10 minutes. Look at how much greener that is. And look at this area here, this area, definitely in need of some water that's the next zone we got some pop-ups right here but yeah look at that whoo bone dry nice and green water is king water is king I don't care what anyone tells you you want a beautiful lawn you can mow it you can fertilize but if you don't water it's not gonna look as good remember water is king okay this is zone six running along the backyard and I don't know, that's awfully interesting. Either we didn't get enough water or it evaporated out because we're sitting just under a half inch here. Now mind you, it is the middle of the day as we're doing this. So that's another contributing factor. You can also come over here and look at this one. We're over a half inch. See that right there? I might have to run that one again just to see. And then we got this area back here. There are pop-up heads here. So I'll go ahead and stick one here. And I have another pop-up zone back here. Now for these, they pop up all along here and right here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick one right here. So I just like to come back here, make sure my measuring cup is right there. And it's in the middle. These bad boys right there. Look at that color. 
That's double dark. Well, actually, that's single dark. Double dark will be another video, but it's it's dark. Looks good. All right, this zone is done. I want to say about 35 minutes, half inch. Then once you're done, you're going to go ahead and write down all the times it took to fill up the rain gauge or a tuna can filled up halfway. Mark down the allotted time for each zone and then go ahead and program your controller accordingly. And what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to take a deep and infrequent approach with your watering, especially if you have clay soil. It's a good idea to water deep and infrequent. So a good place to start if you have some rain help is to run the system twice a week. Sunday and Wednesday is a good example. If you're a little more dry, kind of like we are, I recommend three to four times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If that's not doing it, you can always add Sunday as an additional day. Find that to be a great schedule to run there. Um, each time, long enough for each zone to put out that half inch of water. Once you've taken that measurement, you've put that in the system, that should all be there. And you will be good to go to keep your lawn nice, green, and irrigated for the summertime.